Hi guys, welcome to Virgin Mama, and I'm very excited to come in and share share this recipe with you guys. Um, as you know, I made the tiger nut um, tiger nut milk, and the pulp that um, left over was two cups. So yesterday I made a banana zucchini muffin with the flour. So and this is it right here. I made three all together. And I'm telling you guys, all I used was the tiger nut flour and the rest of the ingredients. And it, it was delicious. So I just want to come in and share it with you guys. Look at this here. Very moist. And it's very flavorful too. Very flavorful. Look, open it like this. Very, very delicious. I just want to come in with you guys and it's gluten free. And if you guys you know gluten free stuff out there now is um tasting much better but this flour right here is a great excellent substitute for gluten free flour excellent i'm so glad i came across this i'm gonna be doing a lot more recipe with this um flour so stay tuned guys let's put this muffin together okay guys so these are the ingredients um i have the cup of tiger nut flour here then I have one, the, the banana that I used yesterday was smaller than this. So I'm going to use like three-fourths of this banana. A small, small banana. One zucchini. I'm going to grate the, grate the, the key, zucchini. And you got to squeeze the liquid out. It's very important you squeeze the liquid out of this uh, when you grate the zucchini. Very important. My egg replacer is going to be apple cider vinegar with milk. That was my egg replacer right there. And I'm going to put some spices in there, some cardamom, coriander. I'm going to put some cream of tartar, salt. Um, my sweet is going to be um, agave, coconut oil, and baking powder and baking soda. And I'm going to sprinkle some walnut on top of it. So let's put it together, guys. Okay, guys, so what I'm going to do at this time, I'm going to add the dry ingredients. This is one cup of the tiger nut flour. Let's get everything out of here. I'm going to do the reason I'm adding the cream of tartar because when, whenever you're using cream of tartar, especially in gluten free product, whenever it rises, it stabilizes it not to. Um, to flat to flatten back down so this is the reason I'm using this right here so that was one four teaspoon then I'm going to use some spices in there cardamom coriander then I'm going to use half a teaspoon of baking soda half a teaspoon of baking powder there's a pinch of salt pinch pinch yeah pinch okay so this is the dry ingredients next I'm gonna put the wet ingredients together okay guys so next I'm gonna put the the egg, egg replace it together so this is one fourth cup of unsweetened almond milk I'm going to put one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar if you if you don't feel comfortable using apple cider vinegar I've never used a lemon um, to replace it you could you know try it yourself but I haven't I don't have a problem using this you know so or you could use any egg replacer I have a, I have a YouTube video that I have um, different type of egg replacement so you could look at that I will put the video up so you could take a look at that so I'm gonna let it sit and next I'm going to grater the zucchini like I said guys it's very important when you grate the greater the zucchini I get tongue twist tongue twist when I say this please make sure you take out all the liquid from it. This reminds me of back home. <laughs> uh. 
I'm used to going to everything. You want you want to use a small zucchini too. Another big one, small one. Okay. So just this one small zucchini. And I cut both ends of the, off the zucchini, so you need to cut the ends. See, so you see all that liquid in there? It's the liquid. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it in my, my bag. This is what I used to make my tofu in. I'm going to squeeze it out. You want to squeeze out all this liquid. See, it's a lot of liquid in there. You could, you could, you could drink the juice. It's very, very beneficial, guys. She want to get as much juice out as possible. I think I got it all. So, I'm going to tell you how many. Um, this is about maybe like one fourth cup of pulp. Let me see. Oh, uh, one third cup of pulp. Let me see. Yeah, when you by the time you finish, it'll be one foot, one third cup of pulp. Okay, guys. So next, I'm gonna um smash the bananas. The banana. Look at this guy. Look, you could use this right here for a face mask. Very good. So don't throw away the bananas inside a lot of nutrients food for thought okay so i'm gonna smash this out and like i said you want to get a small banana okay guys so next i'm gonna add the zucchini one tablespoon of coconut oil you could use a different oil if you want to you could even use butter in there but i'm doing coconut oil because that's what i used yesterday and a pinch of vanilla maybe one a teaspoon of vanilla and one tablespoon of agave Again, you can use whatever sweetener you want, but I'm using agave. Next, I'm going to be used, put in the, the egg replacer, mixing it up. And you want to mix your dry ingredients together. When you put all the dry ingredients together, you want to mix everything together. Okay, next I'm going to put it inside of the dry ingredients. Mix it around. And it may seem like, man, it looks so dry, it's not wet, like this. But don't worry about that because it's going to come out real nice. You, you don't want, I was tempted yesterday to add more water, more milk to it, but I'm glad I didn't. So, I'm just going to do three muffins. Mm, I have to use this big, make sure, even this is non-stick, make sure you grease it. So I'm going to put one. Three. So I'm going to bake, bake this at 350 for 18 minutes. 
Okay guys, I just grind up some walnut to put on top of it. It's totally optional. You don't have to do this. Okay guys, so here you have it. The tiger nut banana zucchini bread. And you have to get used to the taste because the texture is not the same as a regular gluten-free flour. It's like a co coconut texture. So, um, I hope you guys try this recipe, like this video, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.